Monster. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jemima. Today I'm going to show you guys how I prepare my vegetable rice. Yes, vegetable rice. So I've gotten my veggies already. I'm only using carrots, green beans and um, green pepper for this recipe. If you've not seen the part 1 to 3 of this video, please go and see it. I'll leave the link up here for you guys to see it. It's, it's a part of a series. My MBBS mock exam series actually. So this is the day before my last exam. Okay, so I had to chop my green beans. I usually like them tiny, tiny. I don't like chewing large and long green beans inside my food. So that's why I had to chop it as tiny as you are seeing. So after chopping, I just turned it all into my transparent plastic plate. And then for my green pepper, I usually like taking out the seeds. I don't like seeing the seeds in my food, so I had to take out the seeds. After taking out the seeds, I had to slice them into long slices so that I'll be able to cut it into tiny cubes. Again, like I said, I don't like chewing long vegetables in my food. I prefer it to be nicely diced into tiny squares. So that's what I'm doing right here. For my carrots also, I had to slice them into Thin cubes, well, not so thin carrots. I can actually tolerate chewing large carrots inside my meals, but today I just decided to slice it into thin cubes, and that is what you're seeing me doing right here. Okay, over to the kitchen. Pardon my dirty sink. This is exam week, and if you're a medical student and you're watching this, you know how difficult it is to tidy up your kitchen during exam week not just exam week professional exam week so i had to do the dishes first before i do anything cooking time to parboil rice so um for the rice i am actually using abakiriki rice for those who don't know abakiriki rice it's very special abakiriki people do not joke with their rice and i'm actually loving the rice so far so i'm just going to do two cups of that it's just me that's eating i don't have any roommates i'm not living in a family house and i don't eat much so i had to do just two cups and then of course I had to turn on my gas to put the food on the fire All right, while preparing this meal, it was raining heavily, like really, really heavily and there was serious thunder and oh my god, I was supposed to go downstairs to get um, fried chicken to use for this rice. <laughs> At this point, I was becoming really, really lazy. <laughs> I had to pound my fresh pepper manually. Ha! Ah, using the grinder to grind my fresh pepper. Eh? The reason why I don't like it is Washing that grinder after when, when grinding fresh pepper is always a thorn in my flesh. So I just kukuma pound the fresh pepper because I can easily wash the mortar and the piso. <laughs> okay, so it was time to parboil the rice. Remember, it's abakiriki rice and this one is not de-stoned. So I had to wash it several times to take out all the stones in the rice. It was not funny, but Omo. I can't afford to chew stone in my rice, so I had to take my time to wash it properly. And it really worked. Throughout my time of washing, of eating the rice, I didn't chew any stone. Okay, I usually put everything into the pot before I take it to the fire because oh my gas is 
<laughs> it's very fast too. I am sizing my onion. I had to size onion. I'm not a fan of onion actually, so I didn't use so much onions inside the food. So I just put it for the flavor. <laughs> That's all. And next, I put my Cameroon pepper, just a little bit because that fresh pepper that I put was really hot. Then my spices, my curry. In fact, that this is even the name, the name, <laughs> the curry spice. And after putting in my curry spice, I had to put in some other spices. Here yeah, I know those spices are many, but I'm a lover of spices. So uh, I just had to put in a little bit of each of those spices just to give my food a little bit flavor. And the next thing I put in my food was salt for taste and after which I put my stock cubes I love star maggi cubes a lot that's what I use for my food and then finally I had to use bay leaf I love this leaf so so much it gives there's this very special flavor that it gives to my food that I love and although I, am, I respect that some people do not like it and after putting all the spices I had to turn in my rice and mix it thoroughly I forgot fresh pepper <laughs> so I had to turn in my fresh pepper and mix it thoroughly as well oh my god I love the color that this fresh pepper gives to the rice very very nice had to go and get another box of matches so hey I know people have talked to me several times to start using lighter but ah I like I, I'm, really, I'm really scared of using lighter with the kind of gas that I'm using. I beg, I beg, I beg. I, I can't fit. <laughs> I'm so scared of using lighter. So that's why I'm still using matches, Sha. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've watched to this point, I'm really grateful. Thank you. By next week, I'm going to upload the part five of this video where the food will be ready for us to eat don't worry i'm going to dish your own specially <laughs> oh by the, by the way that's by the way the part five of this video will be out by next week please subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed give this video a thumbs up if you like it share this video with your friends your family and your loved ones and also remember that every wednesdays and saturdays there is always a new video on this channel wednesdays i post everything outside medical school but Saturdays are for medical school videos only and um, next week I'm going to post the part 5 of this video. Please don't forget to come back for to see that video. Alright, so bye. Mwah.